is generating. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. All right, Sag, let's start with their feelings. Okay, so they're having, they have the seven of swords in reverse with the six of swords here. I'm getting this person is someone who tried to escape this relationship or escape a commitment or escape something very really solid and stable that you wanted with them, okay? This could be someone who keeps coming into your life, okay? Very in and out person, someone very insincere, not genuine. Uh, this could be someone who has a lot to hide, okay? It's like every single time that you talk to this person, you always feel there's something behind the scenes going on that you're not aware of, okay? And the seven of swords is a repetitive action, okay? So they could have done this for a very long time. You could have given them a lot of chances, but they refuse to change, okay? But yeah, they're feeling very, very guilty and they're wanting to move towards you, okay? With the Six of Swords here, they want clarity. Uh, they want to move towards you with clarity, with peace of mind. They want a peaceful resolution to move towards you, okay? They are, uh, I'm getting that if they did have any deception in the past, if they did cheat on you, they're feeling guilty, they want to turn a new leaf, they want to have an honest approach towards you and they want to move towards you, they're ready to make that change. Uh, which was needed, the transition that was needed in this relationship, or if they were trying to run away or hide their feelings or, you know, try to keep their feelings uh, under wraps, they're ready to open up now, okay? They realize that they were wrong and they're ready to open up and now they want to move towards you, okay? With the page of cups and the four of swords in reverse here, okay? I'm feeling that this person definitely wants to open up to you, okay? Now they're ready to open up, ready to be emotionally vulnerable. They want to even apologize to you with the page of cups here. The page of cups doesn't always mean um, a love offer, but I'm getting more of an apology here, okay? But I guess that you're not really talking to this person, okay? Or you're not really giving that much um, of attention to this person. You could have even been fighting for this person for a very long time, and now you've completely... Uh, taken a step back and you know more fighting over this person okay fighting for this relationship and this is stressing them out with the four of swords in reverse here if this person is not in communication with you they want to come out of isolation and they want to talk to you and they want to offer this apology to you but i think either you are shut down or uh, or i mean you know this was someone who was shut down for a very long time whatever it is right this is them driving they're, they're going nuts they're reaching that point of exhaustion they're reaching that boiling point okay and now they can't hold any more longer. They're wanting to come out of that break. They've retreated enough. They take a break long enough, okay? And now they're ready to come towards you and apologize or open up to you and express their emotions. You, on the other hand, with the seven of wands in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse. I think, Sash, that you, again, you could have fought for this relationship for a very long time, okay? The Seven of Wands is not fighting competition. Seven of Wands is fighting for what you think is right, okay? Fighting for, for almost like, it's almost like you get, you know, fighting for your position, fighting for something, okay? Defending, only protecting this relationship from everyone or protecting this relationship or holding on to this relationship for a very long time. I think you finally gave up on this relationship and your feelings, okay? You're giving up. I'm getting you have no fight left, Okay? Uh, maybe either other influences, uh, outside influences has taken over this relationship or you just feel you have no fight left. You feel that you have given in your 100% and now you cannot do anything more than that. And all this only because with Ace of Swords and Reverse, you could be dealing with a liar, a cheater, or some, or there's just a lot of miscommunication or just no communication at all, okay? That's why I said with the Four of Swords in Reverse here, right? This person could have completely withdrew from you withdrawn from you or you guys could have been in no contact no communication whatever right but there is a lack of clarity here you know, there's a lack of breakthrough here and only because there is no communication okay and you feel like giving up or you already have given up because this person is just not ready to either this you look at this person as someone who's keeping the truth from coming up to the surface or you just feel you're being lied to you feel you're being manipulated okay and that's why you're no longer wanting to fight for this relationship with the Knight of Cups in reverse here and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that you could be dealing with someone who is very in and out of your life. You could be feel like you're dealing with a player, you're dealing with someone who's, you know, very passive aggressive, but someone who is just full of false, um, um, empty promises, false hopes, okay? This person just could have come into your life, they would have just given you, um, uh, offered you scraps, okay? Or someone who was just uh, very charming, they said all the right things, but when it came to really, um, uh, putting their money where the mouth is, they didn't fall through, okay? 
um this person could be someone who was extremely non committal okay you could be dealing with someone who probably could have even literally gone from commitment to not commitment okay but yeah you definitely look at this person as someone who is non committal and someone who's in and out of your life in sense you are okay and at the same time someone you know who's um, who just makes big promises who talks a lot but when it really comes to doing the thing taking action they just cough out they take the easy way out and in your uh, emotions with the queen of pentacles are this is what you want your focus is stability your focus is security your focus is something stable committed okay you want you're being very very practical and grounded right now and your approach towards this person is you want to leave the emotions aside and you want to look at the situation as very very logical i can literally see an energetic difference between you both okay with a queen of pentacles and you're dealing with a knight of cups in reverse okay so this could be one of the biggest reasons of why you gave up this fight you could have literally wanted a commitment from someone so immature someone who also didn't know what they wanted this could be a big procrastinator who's missed a lot of opportunities with you okay they had opportunities to make things right with you but probably they just you know due to fear due to fear of commitment they just kept backing up okay and this is what your focus is okay or this is what you are doing right now being very committed to yourself be stable focusing on your money your growth uh, your potential if you have a family you could be focusing on your family your kids etc okay but i don't think you're giving any um any attention to this person right now the mutual energy i think with the four of cups here there is i think this person has a lot of fear of rejection i think this person has fear of rejection or with the four of cups here i think that this person is uh, you could even feel very bored okay maybe because this uh, situation is going nowhere this could be a situation that's going around in circles okay and it's going nowhere um uh, you're probably waiting uh, they're probably waiting for you to talk to them also okay and they're waiting for you and they're just sulking or your relationship has come to that stagnant place okay where there's just no passion no romance at all but again this is also someone who's isolated or someone who has a lot of fear of rejection okay they don't know if you're ready you're up for this or if you're going to take up this uh offer or if you're even going to listen to what they have to say because they're coming in with that apology but they're stressing out because they don't know if you're going to get let them back in or not and with the three of cups here this is what they want they want this reconciliation you on the other hand okay you're very discontented with this relationship okay because uh this person could be emotionally breadcrumbing you throughout small small emotional dates okay just to keep you within it but that's something that you realized and that's why you gave up on this person you realize that they were a player doesn't have to be a player but definitely someone with player like tendencies not saying that they could cheat you, cheat on uh, you with other people but someone definitely not the player okay someone who didn't want anything traditional okay they came and they said all the right things but only to probably just fool you or just uh, keep you within the game okay but yeah this is what this person wants for the three of cups so they want a reconciliation but they're fearing the rejection okay they don't know or this is just you who's very very discontented there's a lot of discontentment around this relationship uh what is the likely outcome that means that it is on the person you're dealing with what is the likely outcome that means that it is on the person you're dealing with for the first week of november 2023 Hmm. Queen of Swords with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Enjoy. See again, immature energy. You're someone with a likely outcome, right? You're someone who's definitely not in any mode of fucking around. Okay, you are in that no nonsense, no bullshit zone. Okay, it's like, tell me what. is the truth you want candid communication okay you're only going to deal with facts logic you're being very cold with this person and i think you're going to give an ultimatum to this person okay because this person seems to be holding back a lot okay there again missed opportunities because of procrastination again or this person's just being a coward again fear of rejection maybe this person is not sure of whether you're going to accept them back or not however with the ace of cups here they definitely want a new beginning with you in love okay they want a renewal in love for sure but they're very very afraid of you because you're in this energy with the queen of swords here and this is making this person really really fear coming towards you i feel that they're coming in 
okay but i feel that you know what the knight of swords in reverse is also someone you know who's um it could also mean that they're coming in right but they're not in a hurry and only reason they're not in a hurry is because they know that when they come in you're already here waiting for them to chop their head off if they're not going to give you the truth truth does not always mean what you want to hear that's not what i'm saying that what i'm saying is that this is your mood right now this is your approach no more emotional approaches anymore okay you're showing up as the queen of pentacles you're showing up as the queen of swords it's literally like you've gone through a lot with this person in this relationship okay or you've given a lot to this relationship and now you know what you deserve and if you don't get it, you're ready to walk away. You're okay with walking away, okay? And that's one of the reasons why this person is holding back. They want this with you. They want this renewal. They want a new beginning with you in love, okay? But they're holding back for some reason. So I don't know. I still don't see that communication. Communication coming in. Page of Cups, they want to apologize. But I feel that there's still, that things are still going to be on hold for a little while. Yeah? So that's what I have for you, Sarge. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.